All right, Hotep, Hotep, it's none other than your brother, Professor Ace, www.africancreationenergy.com. Today is September the 1st, 2012, and we're going to be doing an experiment entitled Calculate the Antimatter in an African Yam, Plantain, and Banana. Now this is an experiment from the book Nine Ether Ray Engineering, available at www.africancreationenergy.com. Now did you know that bananas actually emit antimatter? It's a fact and we're going to go over some of the scientific facts that help show um, how this is possible and then start performing the calculation. Alright, now potassium-40 is a naturally occurring isotope that is unstable and radioactively decays. The radioactive half-life of potassium-40 is 3.9 times 10 to the 16 seconds. The atomic mass of potassium is 39.1 grams per mole. When potassium-40 radioactively decays, one in every 100,000 decays emits an anti-electron or positron particle of antimatter. For every 1 million atoms of natural potassium, about 117 atoms are potassium-40. Therefore, substances dense with potassium will likely contain potassium-40 and will occasionally emit a positron particle of antimatter. Now bananas, as you know, are rich with potassium, so let's calculate the antimatter emitted by an average banana. One average banana contains about 450 milligrams of natural potassium. Now we can uh, calculate how many individual atoms are in 450 milligrams of natural potassium by this formula. Um, you basically, you multiply 400, 450 milligrams uh, by what they call Avogadro's number, which gives you the, n the number of atoms per, per mole, and then you divide it by the number of grams per mole, right? And you get 6.93 times 10 to the 21 individual atoms in 450 milligrams of potassium in your average banana. Alright, now remembering that for every 1 million atoms of natural potassium, about 117 of them are potassium 40. So we basically, we just do 117, 117 divided by a million, right, and multiply it by the number of individual atoms of potassium to find how many atoms of potassium 40 are in your average banana. And in your average banana, you have 8.11 times 10 to the 17 atoms of potassium 40. All right, now to find out how many decays of potassium 40 occur per second, we divide the total number of potassium 40, 40 atoms by the radioactive half-life of potassium 40, which is 3.9 times 10 to the 16 seconds. Now when we do this calculation, we get 20.58 decays of potassium 40 occurring in your average banana per second. Now remembering that one in every 100,000 decays of potassium 40 emits a positron particle of antimatter, we can calculate how often a positron particle of antimatter is actually emitted from our banana. Alright, now this uh, calculation is basically just letting you know, first we found out how many atoms of potassium was in the banana, then we found out how many of those were potassium 40, then we found out um, how frequently potassium 40 decays and now we're finding out how frequently of those potassium 40 decays how frequently will a positron particle of antimatter be emitted and so when we do this calculation we find that every 81 minutes a positron particle of antimatter is emitted from your average banana alright now yam and plantain are two foods that are common in African and Caribbean diets which are actually higher in potassium content than banana. So we're going to use the previous formulas to calculate how long it will take for the African yam and plantain to emit a positron particle of antimatter. All right, now the average plantain contains 534 milligrams of natural potassium. Now when we do our calculation, we get 8.22 times 10 to the 21 individual atoms of potassium in the average plantain. Of those 8.22 times 10 to the 21 atoms, 9.62 times 10 to the 17th atoms are potassium 40. Now when we do our rate calculation, we find that 24.43 decays of potassium 40 occur per second in the average plantain. And so since we know how many decays of potassium 40 occur per second, 
we can find out how many of those are positron particles of antimatter. And so, you know, our final calculation, we get every 68 minutes, a positron particle of antimatter is emitted from a plantain. Now, I know I'm going through some of these calculations fast, and you can pause it and rewind and go over it. Um, to, to help you know get some of the points but I don't want to make it too monotonous just you know calling out numbers that's why I'm trying to just skip through skip through the calculations and get to the point but you can put anyone who's interested in the details of the calculation they can pause and rewind and go over it and check it with your calculator and everything like that to make sure that everything's on point all right but every 68 minutes, a positron particle of antimatter is emitted from a plantain. Now, the average African yam contains 694 milligrams of natural potassium. Now, when we do our calculation, we find that 10.7 times 10 to the 21 atoms of individual atoms of potassium exist in the average African yam of 694 milligrams. All right. And of those individual potassium atoms, 12.5 times 10 to the 17 of those atoms are potassium 40 atoms. Now when we do our rate calculation, we find that 31.75 decays of potassium 40 occur per second in the average African yam. And so when we do our final calculation, we find that every 53 minutes, a positron particle of antimatter is emitted from the average African yam. So when we look at our table of the three uh, potassium rich substances that we just analyzed, we find that the average African yam emits a, po a positron particle of antimatter the most frequently, uh, followed by the plantain, followed by the banana. Now the Jamaican sprinter Johan Blake says he eats 16 bananas per day. I eat 16 banana, red banana every day because we're not training at to lose potassium, so I have to build it up back. For me, it's for more energy. Now, if we do a calculation, we find that there are 1,440 minutes in a day. Therefore, Johan Blake takes in about 18 positron particles of antimatter per day just from eating 16 bananas. So perhaps the consumption of the antimatter found in yam, plantain, and banana is what led to the superior performance of Johan Blake, Usain Bolt, and the other Jamaican sprinters in this past year's Olympic Games. For this and other African science experiments, be sure to check out the book, Nine Eat the Ray Engineering. For recipes on how to prepare African yam and plantain, be sure to check out the book, Back to Our Roots, Food for the Gods. Both available at www.africancreationenergy.com. And get yourself some banana yam and plantain to get some of this antimatter ether in your system. <laughs> Hotel.